All right, guys, good morning. Mr. G bringing you coffee and cross out. And today we've got a boring spreadsheets engine video. We're going to break down every single engine in cross out. We're going to look at speed, acceleration, weapon reload, and module cooldown today. So saddle up. Let's take a look at what we're going to be testing today. So we're going to be looking at all the engines in game. Now, if you don't know, engines have maximum speed and they also have power, which is basically your torque or your acceleration, how fast it can get you up to speed. On top of that, they can increase your mass limit, which is just the maximum amount of weight you can put on your vehicle and your tonnage, which is just how much weight you can put on your vehicle before you're in the yellow and you get nailed with super bad uh, speed, <laughs> speed nailings on that. Um, okay, so some engines give you reload boosts. Uh, some give you module cooldown boosts, and some don't give you either of those, but don't cost any energy. But we're just going to kind of break down today numbers and do some testing. So first test, speed tests with light cap. We're going to go through literally every single engine, just running it from the garage to this batch of trees and timing it. So we're going to do with no engine for our control test, and we're going to bang out all of these. So we're going to Go ahead and hit hardcore engine here. This one doesn't take any power. It's a great starter engine. Should be one of the first parts you get if you're looking for a blue. Dunhorse. You don't actually see this one nearly as much as you see the hardcore. Um, and you know what? Look, it comes in at the exact same time as the hardcore. And probably one of the least popular engines I think I see around is the Razorback. Uh, it's more to get you tonnage and mass limit for you know lower power score heavy builds. Now the hot red, this is one I use a lot when I don't have any energy, but I need an engine and a build. I put it in hover, I put it in all kinds of different things. Now this one is the Golden Eagle. I am not a huge fan of it because I just feel like the bonuses aren't as good as what you're going to get from another engine. Now Colossus, I use this one all the time in heavy builds or anything with a cannon because you're going to get that 20% reload bonus no matter what you do. Now the Oppressor... It only gives you the reload bonus if you're moving, tied to speed, maxed out at 80 kilometers per hour. And then of course, probably one of my favorite engines is the Cheetah. It really gets you going quickly, good acceleration, and it's got that module cooldown bonus for you. So let's recap. The fastest engine definitely was the Cheetah, and no surprises, the Razorback coming in at slowest. Razorback's definitely designed for a heavier cab, so let's go ahead now and test heavy cabs. All right, so heavy cab with no engine. This thing is gonna, it's gonna take its time. And here I am, I don't even have a cup of coffee. It's gonna take this thing forever. It's slow, we're not, we're not, we're not going quickly. 14 seconds. Now with the hardcore. Uh, you think, will, will I get any bonus at all with a, with a heavy build slapping a hardcore engine to it? Eh, probably not a ton, but you are gonna notice, look, just under two second gain on that. All right, we've got, we've got Dunhorse really seems to be showing similar stats to the hardcore engine even though i think what it gives you a little bit more tonnage though than the hardcore or the light engine i still hate calling them by the new names all right razorback we're going to try it on something it's designed for it's designed for heavier builds now yeah it doesn't give us a lot for top speed but it, it does give you tonnage and acceleration but we're testing mostly you know overall speed here so it comes in pretty slow at 13. hot red this thing takes no energy but it does a decent amount um, boost in our speed here. It's going to get us going to just over 11 seconds to get this done. Now, my favorite... Oh, Golden Eagle. I thought it was going to be Colossus. No, I'm Golden Eagle is, is not my favorite. Engine. I do not love the Golden Eagle. Oh, just about over 12 seconds on that one. Here we go. Colossus. I know I side-mounted it. So if you're triggered, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Colossus is going to get us over the finish line in about 12 seconds. And Presser is going to do pretty much the same thing. Uh, I do prefer Colossus on heavier builds, though, because you're going to get that reload bonus whether you're moving or you're not moving. And you just get more tonnage and mass limit. Uh, I use a fused version called Carrier all the time. It's super handy. And then here we go. Cheetah is going to get the exact same speed overall as the Hot Red coming in at just over... 11 seconds. So to recap, we had the best engines. So actually, Cheetah was tied with Hot Red. And slowest was, once again, Razorback. 
coming in really slow. All right, let's talk a little bit about how you get reload bonuses depending on which engine you use. So we're testing with Tsunami because it has like the longest reload ever. So that we can just get an idea of what kind of change we're going to see. So we're looking at just about seven seconds reload without an engine on Tsunami. Now we're going to do it with Colossus. It's supposed to give us a 20% bonus. It's going to end up taking us about six seconds. Pretty close to being about 20%. Uh, we're going to try Junk Bow. And we're going to try some of the other different engines here. Ones that let us move. So no engine on Junk Bow. About three seconds. With Colossus, we're looking at just over two seconds. And Oppressor going about as fast as we can go. Just over two seconds. 220. So pretty similar between the Colossus and the Oppressor. Colossus might have done almost a little bit better. It's really hard to tell. Lastly, we're going to look at Module Cooldown. So if you're running Cloak, or you're running Aegis, you want to keep those modules up. We're going to run Aegis because it has like the longest cooldown in-game. With no engine, you're looking at 29 second cooldown on this thing. Um, that's a long time. That's almost half a minute. Seriously, uh, go for this. I think I could make a coffee in the time this thing takes to cool down. Any second now. Any second now. How about now? Now? How about now? Okay, Golden Eagle. Look at this thing. What are we going to come in at with Golden Eagle? Anything? Anything? No? Gosh, it takes forever. Even moving. Keep that bonus up. And... Golden Eagle looks like it's going to be just about, about 25 seconds. Cheetah. Oh my goodness, I love the cheetah, and the cheetah just proves to me why it's so awesome, because look how quickly we're going to get that cooldown with the cheetah. It's only going to take us 14 seconds. Cheetah, you're awesome. That's why I use the cheetah all the time. It's a great engine. Now, Golden Eagles with Bigfoot. I wanted to see how much of a difference Bigfoot wheels make. And I was kind of astounded to see that really running four Bigfoots on your build only buys you really about one second. Not great. Yeah, I mean, we're just, this is going to take a minute. And it looks like it's going to come in at just about 24 seconds. Now, what do we got next? Cheetah. Plus Bigfoot. Okay, this is what I do on my infinite shield builds. And it's looking like Cheetah plus Bigfoot only shaves off about one second. It's going to come in at about 13 seconds. There it is. Now we're running a water-cooled Aegis Prime plus Bigfoot plus Cheetah to get the absolute most bonus we can get to cool down. And that's going to shave our cooldown to 12 seconds. Which is pretty impressive considering we started out at 29 seconds overall. Well, there you go, guys. We ran the numbers. We did some tests. Yes, I could have done more tests, more weights. We didn't even talk about wheels. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll do another one testing wheels and talking about cab top speeds and all that. This one took me forever. So please, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I make new stuff every day. Mr. G out.